My YouTube Shorts channel has generated 400 million views, almost half a million subscribers, and over $7,000 in the first 100 days of running it. It's now currently sitting at over 1 million subscribers, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you everything that I learned in the process so you can apply it to your channel as well. We all know YouTube Shorts are very popular right now, so I recommend doing a little bit of research before starting your channel to first identify what type of Shorts channel you wanna start. From what I personally know, there are two types and three categories of channels you can choose from, but things are changing really quickly so do not be surprised if there are more channels you can start in the future. For the types, you can either go with an influencer-based channel or a faceless shorts channel. What that means is that either you can be the one in front of the camera and recording the shorts, recording the videos like I am right now, or you can have a faceless channel where you don't need to show your face and you just use other people's content. I personally like the faceless route more, so this is what I chose for this channel. Now, when it comes to running faceless shorts channels, there are three categories you can choose from. You can have original shorts channels, you can have AI shorts channels, or you can choose reposting shorts channels. There are pros and cons for each channel, but for the scope of this video, we're going to talk about reposting short channels. Takeaway number two is that once you have decided what type of short channel you want to run, it's time to think about your niche. Many people might recommend going with something that you're passionate about or something that you have some sort of interest in, which is a good advice typically, but it's not always true. My niche for the short channel we're going to be speaking about today was simply viral content. I wasn't necessarily following a particular niche or a particular style of videos, but I was posting all of them with a sole scope of them going viral. As you can see, the videos are about life hacks, celebrities, and all sorts of random products. The only thing that all of these videos have in common is that they went viral and they got millions, tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of views, some of them. I know this might sound a little bit surreal, but I believe anyone can do it, especially in today's day and age, and here's how. In order for these short videos to achieve over 880 million views on that channel alone, there were three principles I was looking when picking the shorts. Number one, they needed to be viral on TikTok. I was specifically looking for creators that had under 100,000 subscribers and for videos that had over three or five million views. Number two, they needed to be mass appealing. This is not generally true, but I realized that the wider the audience, the more people that could enjoy or watch the videos, the more chance you would have to go viral. And number three, they needed to be between 30 and 60 seconds. I realized that especially on that channel for reposting shorts, the videos that were between 30 and 60 seconds were performing the best. And this is also what Paddy Galloway found in his study covering over 3.3 billion short views. So you might use that as well. That being said, let's talk about the results. Let's jump in the analytics and see how the channel performed. I started posting on the channel on the 20th of February, 2021, and the results were almost immediate. It was right around when YouTube was launching Shorts, the feature, so there weren't a lot of people doing it and probably YouTube was pushing them even more, so I could definitely say I was lucky to be there in the early stages. Within the first week, the channel started getting thousands of views per day and hundreds of subscribers. It took about 30 days, and on the 21st of March, we were able to hit the first million views day where a video hit 2.9 million views four times as the previous day. From there, as you can see, the views just climbed up. The peak was on April 12th with over 17 million views in that single day alone. Lifetime, the channel gathered over 880 million views, 9.3 million watch hours, and 1.1 million subscribers. And now let's talk about the money. Takeaway number four would be your monetization strategy. From my perspective, the main ways you can monetize your YouTube shorts, especially if you don't want to create a personal brand, are one, the shorts creator fund, two, affiliate marketing, and three, redirect directing the traffic. Now, I'm not a fan of affiliate marketing, and because the videos weren't original, the channel did not get accepted into the Shorts Creator Fund, but that's fine because I knew that from day one. My goal with this channel from the beginning was to generate the views, build the audience, and then redirect the traffic to YouTube automation channels. If you don't know what a YouTube automation channel is, it's simply an automation and a delegation channel. So instead of being in front of the camera all day, like I am right now, you hire other people to do the content for you. You pay them a fixed price, take the videos, upload them to YouTube, YouTube pays you, and you can basically make an infinite amount depending on how good your videos do. I've been doing this business model for the last three years and it's pretty cool. Now let me explain how all of that worked. If you go to the community section of the channel, we will see that there are dozens and dozens of community posts all directing traffic to other videos. Since the channel was getting millions of views per day, some of that audience was watching the post as well and was going to the other channels, basically building them up. Speaking of results, here are a couple examples from an anime channel that I used to promote. We got this video right here, which made $140 in AdSense revenue, this one with $130, $260, $330, this one with $200, and the list goes on. In total, for the selected period of 100 days from January 1st to 
April 10th. This anime channel alone generated $2,000 and it was probably one of the 10 channels that I used to promote. Now granted, not all of these channels were mine. We were also selling community tabs and end screen in bulk to other channels for $50 and I could confidently say I've generated over $5,000 from selling those as well. But unfortunately, I didn't document that process and I didn't keep track of each transaction. This is pretty much how this reposting short strategy generated me over $7,000. And if you'd like to see more videos where I do shorts experiments, I created a short channel only using AI in 24 hours and you can watch it right here and more clips are coming soon.